What if I told you that you could clone a $10,000 per month app without writing a single line of code? Well, that's exactly what happened when I discovered the most powerful AI coding tool available right now. In this screenshot, you can see proof that the original app in the App Store is generating over $500,000 in monthly revenue. And I'm about to show you exactly how AI copied the entire app for me. Most people think you need years of coding experience or a computer science degree to create profitable apps. But here's what they don't know. There's now an AI tool so advanced that it can replicate any app you want, add premium features, and even integrate payment systems like Stripe, all without you touching a single line of code. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my exact process for copying a successful app, how AI handled every technical detail, and the one tool that made this entire project possible. I'll show you the complete step-by-step -step system I use from going to idea to revenue generating app, and by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to build your own profitable app using nothing but AI. Let's dive in. Every great app starts with a blank slate, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Before we jump into workouts, tracking, or design, we need a solid foundation. Something simple that works across devices and sets us up for everything that's coming next. So here's what we're telling Claude. Hi Claude, let's build an awesome exercise app. Please make this both mobile and web friendly. For now, just please create the UI for the app, its sections and tabs. Important disclaimer, by the way, building apps and making money online isn't easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. So when I show you how to build an app, I'm actually demonstrating the technical process and potential, not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, a little bit of luck. Most apps don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all, just so you guys know. I'm not promising you'll get rich or quit your job, okay? This isn't financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools and what you do with that knowledge is entirely up to you. All right, expectation set, let's continue building the app. So Claude comes back with a basic layout, a clean shell of the app that includes the main sections and navigation. It's minimal for now, but that's the point. This gives us a stable structure we can build on. Here you'll see the early version live. It's plain and unstyled at this stage, but the bones are there. And that's all we need to move forward. We all know that nobody sticks around for a boring looking app, no matter how great the idea is. So before we build out more features, we're giving this thing a serious visual upgrade. I want a dark theme clean layout and mobile friendly polish that actually makes people want to use it. Here's the prompt that we're going to send to Claude. Great, but please substantially overhaul the design. Make it look like a modern fitness exercising app. Give it a sleek modern look that looks great on both web and mobile. The output gives us a clean dark themed interface that finally looks like a proper fitness platform. The fonts, layout, and spacing looks much more fitting now to the vibe that I want. I'll try to navigate through the interface. We can see that the updated design really pulls everything together. Each section is a lot more intentional with a consistent look. It's a big step from our bare bones version and this sets the stage for all the next features we're about to build. Now that the app looks a lot better visually, we're now going to give it some real functionality. One of the most important parts of any fitness app is a reliable workout timer and a proper exercise library that users can actually follow. So in this step, we're focusing on building those two core features. Let's feed Claude this next request. Awesome job. Now please create a timer for workouts. Make it a proper, fully functioning timer. And also, please update the workout section. Create a thorough workout catalog with complete steps. Remove the current video placeholders. There's now a quick access version directly on the dashboard for quick access and a dedicated timer tab for more focused sessions. The exercise library also gets a major overhaul with real exercises, clear steps, and no more placeholders. Now it's time to test it out. The timer works seamlessly across both the dashboard and its own tab. The exercise library is also now much more complete. However, a sleek UI and solid timer are great, but for this app to feel truly functional, 
we need features that actually help users track progress. That means workout logs, history tracking, and a few UX upgrades that make the whole experience a lot smoother. This is what we're sending over to Claude. Great job! But now, I want you to improve the UX and the overall app's features by incorporating a rest timer, as well as the ability to log workout sets, reps, and weight. This has to be dynamic. I want to be able to see my workout history and have a dynamic tracker dashboard that shows those details. Claude returns with a dynamic logging feature that lets users record sets, reps, and weights during workouts. There's also a new dashboard that displays workout history in a clean and readable format. These changes make the app feel a lot more purposeful. We've already made huge strides in turning this into a real training tool, but I want to take it even further. This next upgrade focuses on advanced workout options. Things like supersets, warm-up suggestions, and even the ability to share routines with others. So let's drop this into Claude. Great! Now let's improve our application by adding some advanced features. Please adjust the workout parameters to include supersets. The user should be able to add supersets in between their workouts and log it. Also, create a warm-up calculator that shows the muscle groups of the warm-ups the users can give alongside estimated calories burned. Lastly, give the ability to share these workouts that the user creates or chooses. Claude responds with a new logic that now supports superset tracking, warm-up suggestions, and sharing options. The warm-up calculator is especially helpful. It visually breaks down which muscle groups are being targeted. Now let's look into the workout logging flow, and things look much more powerful now. The interface lets us add supersets smoothly. It's a subtle but smart touch. And just beneath it all is a clean new share button, ready to push workouts out to others instantly. All right, time to push the limits of what this app can track. We already built out logging, sharing, and supersets. And now, let's make all that data actually work for us. I'm thinking of giving users deeper insight into their progress, complete with visual tracking and strength estimation. Here's the prompt we're using to make that happen. Awesome! Now please expand the app further. Create advanced tracking and charting visualizations depending on the user's progress. Alongside this, based on the user's overall workouts, have an estimated 1RM or 1REP max calculation shown so that the users can estimate their potential 1REP max strength. Claude delivered right away a full progress dashboard that now includes workout history, weekly activity, and we can also view our estimated 1RM based on the user's performance data. There are still a few bugs to iron out, but this gives us a solid base to refine as we go. Now, let's test this out again. I'll head straight to the Progress tab. This section now shows our full workout history, along with visual charts that track volume trends over time. We can also find here new 1RM estimate section, automatically calculated from our recent workouts. It gives us a good benchmark for strength progression and helps keep our training more focused. Everything's neatly laid out and easy to understand, which turns our raw workout logs into real insight we can act on. For this part, we're going to focus on personalization. I want to help users stay engaged by seeing their own progress. We're going to add features such as let them log body measurements, upload transformation photos, and track personal records like deadlift or bench PRs all within the app. We are going to use this exact prompt for Claude. Great job! Now I want you to add some advanced personalization features to the app. In the analytics section, please add a section for body part measurements, a section where the user can upload photos for logging or tracking their progress, and the ability to track their personal records such as deadlift PR, bench PR, etc. Build advanced data visualizations to complement this feature. And after processing, we now have a dedicated analytics section that's packed with personalized features. Users can input body measurements, track PR milestones, and even upload progress images as part of their fitness journey. It's a huge upgrade in terms of engagement and keeps everything in one place for easy review. I think we have everything we need right now, but Without a real login system, it's just a local demo. So to turn this into a real product, we need a proper backend. And Supabase is perfect for the job. 
It handles authentication, stores user data, and plugs into our app without needing custom backend code. We'll start by going to Supabase and spinning up a new project. After that, we need to click into the Connect section to grab the project URL and Anon key. So the connection snippet shown is for next.js. The keys themselves are still valid. We just need to tell Claude to adapt that code for Vite. That brings us to the first prompt. Great job, Claude. Now please create a login and sign up page as well as the authentication protocols. We'll be using Supabase for the users or apps database. Here's the project URL and API key. Please change the naming convention for the .env file accordingly. Once Claude sets that up, we're going to ask for the necessary SQL commands to finish the backend configuration with this prompt. Great! Now please give me the SQL queries for use in Supabase based on our configuration. I will run it in there. Back in Supabase, I'll go to the SQL editor, paste it in Claude's queries, and run them. This fills the tables and fields our app needs for handling users. And with everything connected, we'll test it by signing up to the new UI. Account creation works, and after logging in, we land right inside the app. Supabase is now fully integrated and powering real authentication behind the scenes. We're getting close to the finish line, folks. But before wrapping things up, we need to make sure every new user gets a smooth and personalized start. That means adding an onboarding system right after account creation, something that captures fitness goals, measurements, and preferences so the app can tailor suggestions from day one. Here's the prompt we'll use to guide Claude. Great job so far, Claude. Now let's give the users more personalization with their account. After account creation, I want you to have an onboarding process where the app gets the user's data, fitness goals, measurements, and related data, and save it in the app. Use it as a base for workout suggestions. After a few iterations, Claude delivers a working onboarding flow. Whenever a user creates a new account, they're taken through a short setup process where they input key personal data. Based on their responses, the app suggests tailored exercises that align with their goals. Now let's wrap things up by turning our app into something that can actually make money. The final feature we're adding is a Stripe integration that lets users upgrade to a premium plan. To do this, first we need to head over to Stripe, grab the secret and publishable keys, and get everything ready for Claude to plug into the app. Here's the prompt we'll send over. Great, perfect. Now lastly, please integrate Stripe into our application. Here's the secret and publishable keys. Insert keys here. Please create a dedicated section called Upgrade where it has some info about the premium upgrade. Make the price around $4.99 per month, and after completing the transaction, the user should be having the premium status. And after Claude finishes building, we now have a fully functional Upgrade section. This page highlights the benefits of going premium and walks the user through the payment process using Stripe Checkout. Everything is clean, clear, and user-friendly. After all the features we've built, it's finally time to see everything in action. This is where it all comes together. Every tab, every feature, and every line of AI-generated code working as one seamless fitness app. Let's walk through the full experience from a brand new user's perspective. We'll start by creating a new account then logging in to begin the onboarding process. The app walks us through a few quick questions, collecting fitness goals and personal data to personalize the experience from the start. Once onboarding is complete, we will explore the main sections of the app. Next, we'll jump into the workout library to browse the available routines, then head over to the timer tab and test a few timer presets. Everything works smoothly. In the analytics section, we'll go through each of the core tracking features weekly activity, one rep max estimates, body measurement logs, PR tracking, and photo-based progress tracking. Each section responds as expected, showing the data we've logged and visualizing progress clearly. Finally, we're going to visit the premium upgrade page and complete a test transaction. Once that goes through, the account is instantly upgraded, confirming that premium access is now active and fully functional. And that's it. We've just built a full-featured fitness app from scratch using nothing but AI. Every feature was built step-by-step step and we didn't write a single line of code ourselves. If you've made it this far, you've probably seen what's possible. This exact process can work for any fitness niche. 
The blueprint is right here. Now it's your move. Take this flow, pick your niche, and start building. And if you found this helpful, make sure to hit subscribe. More builds like this are coming real soon. See you in the next video.